Getting polyurethane down on your hardwood floors is pretty simple. Three things you'll need. Oil-based polyurethane, one gallon lasts for 500 square feet approximately. You'll also need a roller for oil-based products and a brush. Starting off with the door trims and corners of the room. Once you get those done, you could get your roller and dip it into the bucket as you'll see. If you're not using a five gallon bucket like me and you bought it from Home Depot or Lowe's, you could pour out the polyurethane onto the floor. Don't worry if it creates a puddle, just don't let it sit there for more than 10 minutes because then it'll create a mark on the floor. What I'm doing here is just getting the polyurethane out onto the floor so I don't have to keep running back to the bucket. I carefully go by the wall not to touch it so no dust comes out. What you want to do is just slowly roll and make sure you get the puddle and spread it nice and neat so there isn't any marks later when it dries. An important step to do is get the borders. You can't get them fully with the roller so I go by parallel like this and get the leftover polyurethane and also get the wood that I didn't manage to cover. Once you're in an open room, you don't have to worry about going wall to wall. You could have a stopping point in the middle. And as long as you get back to it in the next 10 to 15 minutes, the line will disappear very quickly. As you can see here, I'm rolling to where I stopped and I'm feathering it out as I lift the roller up. Once you roll this part of the room, always double check yourself as I am here. Make sure there isn't any puddles or any missed spots, but as you can see, it turned out great. <laughs> 